it is time to prepare these split frames from the SD45s. We need to put some holes in them to run wires so we can isolate the motor. So, that's what we're going to do. So what am I going to do first? So I'm going to plunge three holes. And let's put a little, put a little earl on it. Yep, a little earl. And let's get him lined up here. Fix that squeaking thing, it's irritating me. Okay, let's get down in there. Looks good. Yeah, this is pretty soft metal, so we don't gotta get crazy with like I got some uh, drill chill over there, which is pretty good stuff, but we don't need it for this. Let's just go ahead and drill chill. First, I'm going to touch off. There we go. And then we'll just work our way down slowly. This is the Bachman Plus. That second one has quite a ways to go in this one. It's pretty thick right there. Then we're going to chamfer these. And then we're going to... We might cut some flies on this, too. Um, I'll tell you what. This is the Plus version. When they made this, they did a way better job of deburring it than the Spectrum version, which surprises me. The Spectrum version is supposed to be a step up, but the deburring on it is... It's, it's like they didn't do it. So I had to spend a while deburring that one. Okay.
right now let's go ahead and change that out Let's change out. Let's change out our our two glue. Okay, I want this to be smooth. You don't have to be perfect, but it's got to be smooth. And the reason I want it to be smooth is I found out once that if it's not smooth, it can cut wire or cause a little short. It can be very hard to find. just want to I'm going to paint this in a bit but let's see let's see about cutting some flies first just in case let's just check it out um, this one feels pretty smooth but this may make it even a little smoother we're going to do this top guy This one we're going to lock it in and go in thousands. First let's just get a touch. There we go. Thank you. 
sự ưu hòa sĩ Good. Now let's get you a better look. We still have to mill the motor uh, wiper. We gotta we gotta mill those out. We can't have those in there. And I'm going to show you how, to, how we do that, but I want to get this finish on and do less setups on this thing so we can get this thing done. good on the spectrum one it was not good so this one looks like it's it's uh in a lot better but we did a better job when we made it Yeah, see, you hardly took in and off that one. I'm going to take it over the grinder and then we'll buff it. I'm going to grind any burrs. much for that. I'm going to buff this, then I'm going to paint it, and I'm probably going to, I like a matte finish kind of on the inside, 
And then I do like a gloss finish on the outside so, it's, so it slips into the shell easier. Okay, now there's a little tab. Right here. That tab is what the motor wipes on to energize the frame. And we don't want that in there. That's got to go. That guy. Now, okay. As you can see, this is the top tab. The bottom tab needs. We got it. We got it. Uh, mill two spots with a little more care because we need room for the wire to get to the top opening that we made. So the way this thing should work is there will be three, we put three holes in the top, two of them bring wires from the trucks to the top to our, we're going to make a circuit board for this, and then one of them is a hole to go from the circuit board down to the motor, motor power, in case we ever want to put a decoder in it later, which we probably will. And we got to make sure that the wires going down to the motor, which it's really tight in there, we need to give them some room. Okay, this is a pretty straightforward job here. Take the fourth loop. Oh, yeah, let me see. deeper this and we'll throw the ultrasonic a little bit get all the oil off we'll be ready to put them back together now here's the bottom one bottom one we gotta get this bottom one this part comes off and then we need a socket right here for the wire to come underneath so let's get that guy I don't want to clamp too hard and, and uh, bend the frame. Uh, however, a uh, vise is a way to straighten a frame. Okay. So I'm going to get this down first.
That's it. We did it. Both sides. Okay. There it is. This is the one where the wipers on the bottom. That's what we needed to do. Let's clean it. And then we'll be able to start working on reassembly.